morning, everyone. Just got that fresh blowout, the birthday blowout. Y'all know the vibes. Lily is coming to pick me up, and we're about to go on a book store tour. A bookstore tour. We're doing three different bookstores. I've been to only one of them. Two of them are new, so I'm really, really excited. Here's what happens when you turn 23. You wake up and walk downstairs and you're wearing the same outfit as your mother. We're both wearing jeans and then black off the shoulder tops today and like a statement necklace. Except for hers are pearls and mine is this fucking gorgeous floral necklace. It gives me Barbie Fairytopia vibes, which is why I bought it. It's Kate Spade. I got it from the outlets, obviously. The earrings are also Kate Spade. I'm obsessed with Kate Spade. Yeah, so welcome to the birthday vlog. Gonna do some book shopping. We're making a cake later, so that will be a chronicle. And then a bunch of my friends are coming over and we're doing movie night. So yeah, let's just do that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, when I pay my tax. Okay, here we are. Lily got me a little birthday yeah. present. Just a wee one. There's so one sweet. here. There's one thing I didn't have time to make. I was gonna make it before I saw you today. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting a rain check on that. Yes, ma'am. But it's okay because your Christmas present is coming in three to six months. Like I'm like, and that's how I want it. This is fun. I know those are like your favorite style cups. Period. And so I wanted to get you like another color and I was like, the she's gold, my gold girly. Yeah. I am your gold girly. <gasps> this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Period. Opa, yeah, that, that's why sure. I, was I like, made okay, sure. Period. I have to get it. Mm -hmm. Does she know I need a new brushes? <laughs> well, I remember you saying once, I'm gonna call you out on the vlog real quick, that like all your brushes were really old and like dirty yeah. and that you needed new ones. Yeah. And then you were also talking about that hourglass brush. Sorry, they're not hourglass. No, baby, baby. I'm a little is good. Well, but, hourglass is crazy expensive. This is, yeah. this is like, but I think that was like a good little range. No, you know? it's so cute. Thank you, Lily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to get rid because the brushes that I have are the Sonia Kashuk ones, like yeah. from Target, which are good. But I have had them since I was in seventh grade. I really like Eco Tool. And then, uh, not her calling me out again. Okay, so I have one of these. <laughs> she said, you "Send me the one. fucking pictures." Is no, what she said it's purely just for like all your content. Yeah. you know, Thank like you, it'll baby. make it like easier and stuff. No, you, this like, is awesome. There. This is so yes, cool. Man. One thing about me, the pictures that are on this camera, people don't get them. I don't get them even. I'm like, oh, oh my god, pictures, let me take them. Picture moment. And then they never, never leave. Seen again. Then they never leave. That's Picture just again. one thing about me. I need to up my game as the, well, I used to be the only girly with the digital camera, but now you have a digital camera. My SD card ran out of storage. I need to buy another one. Yeah. Yeah, wow. so she's down <laughs> temporarily. We brought the Polaroid with us today. So <laughs> Polaroid is an option tonight. Yes. This is awesome and I love how big this is. This is so my aesthetic. Ostentatious glam, like ostentatious <laughs> 2014 glam. I'm like I'm here, I'm drinking my smart. water. What about it? I'm just knowing I've been doing that all day. Like having your little ASMR moments. Yeah. You know Mel's good. That's gonna be her favorite part of this whole vlog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bookstore time. Bookstore time.
time to pick the little wrappers for the cupcakes for making gluten-free cupcakes for Liv. And the rest of us have a different cake. I feel like, ooh, I kinda want the purple ones to go with the purple theme. I'm gonna do these. Or should I do the polka dots? Lily did an amazing job blending and making the gluten-free cake mix. And now we're gonna get the red velvet one started as well. We're going with a mix of the polka dots. Elizabeth gave me her edible glitter from her birthday party. Actually, Elizabeth kind of sponsored most of this. She gave us all of the, shout out Elizabeth. She gave us the frosting tips and the heart-shaped pan and like edible glitter, like we have it all because of her. And then shout out to my mother also for picking up literally everything. All right, let's make this then. I feel like this might make like 36 cupcakes like <laughs> Been like a lot. <laughs> I'll let you go wherever you need to go. It looks so good. Wait, wait, stop moving. So Focus is on your beautiful face. Okay. 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 We put the cakes in the oven. Cakes are in the oven. And now we're gonna give you guys a book haul of everything we bought today. Mm -hmm. So starting with the first place, Lily has a book for her so little nephew. My nephews. little nephew. But that's in the car. Lily bought me this book as a birthday present, which is awesome. It's called A Curious Invitation by Suzette Field, The 40 Greatest Parties in Fiction. And she also got me this awesome little bookmark. They had a bunch of locally made bookmarks. They were so cute. They were like all different vibes. Like they like had a little one tea like, on it. There's like an Alice in Wonderland one. Yeah. They had like just like little gemstones. They were really cute. Yeah, so I'm super excited. This book is basically just about the 40 greatest fictional festivities as seen to the eyes of the world's greatest writers. And that just sounds so cool. Like I wanna know, I wanna know. And then the next book that we got there was for my brother. It's the Bible, but in French. My brother is going to become a rare book collector probably. But this Bible is really cool because it has Palestine in the front mm. cover. And I don't know when it was, this specific Bible was not published, but like, I don't know when this specific one was made. Printed. Because, yeah, printed because the inside just says that it's whatever edition, it's all in French, but it's from the 1910 edition. But I'm like, this does not look like it's from 1910. The pages are too, too nice. Too too nice. So a little bit of a mystery there, but yeah, the Bible in French, that probably was a curveball for a lot of people watching this. But I just feel like coffee is going to have, he might have a, like a library that rivals ours, I, you know? Yeah. Like he's yeah. gonna have like the heaps and heaps of books and it's like yeah. blah, blah. mad yeah. scientist but book edition, you know? Literally. So like, that's the vibe that I get. He's coming for our next, basically. And then the second bookstore we went to, I got <laughs> four books and Lily got three. Okay. We both did some so, damage. Yeah. Cheers. Do you want to go first? Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay, so I told myself that I wasn't buying what any you books in 2024 until I got through my physical TBR. And I might have broken that today, 12 days in. But these were all already on my TBR, so I'm not really counting that. Like, it's not like I just, like, picked up a book and was like, ooh, this sounds interesting. Like, I had been wanting to read that. all of these, so I'm yeah. not going to give myself too much grief. So the first thing we have is Things We Lost in the Fire, which is just, like, this little, I think it's, like, short stories or something, mm. but it's about Argentina and, like, a lot of their, like, history and then, like, cool. people's, like, you know, like, personal trauma and stuff, I guess. I just love that cover. I saw it for the first time in St. Pete, so that's oh, been... Oh, St. Pete will do it to you. That's been on the books for a while. And then All About Love by Bell Hooks. Classic. This is also on the TBR. Did you buy it or no? I didn't buy it. I picked it up at a different bookstore and I almost bought it, but I did not yeah. buy it. We might need to read this one together because we both really want to read it. Yeah. I really love the way Bell Hooks writes. I've had to read a lot of her stuff for my college classes. I'm clear she this. has a lot of great really things to it. say. Yeah. yeah. And this is about how we view love and romance and stuff, so I I'm like interested to see her take on that. Mm -hmm. And then Black Cake. This has also been on my TR. Obviously, take a shot every time I say that. But I first saw it because I saw a TikTok of a girl that was like, oh, we were reading this for this book club. And then I saw the Hulu series. Mm -hmm. And then she watched the Hulu series and it was really good. Mm -hmm. So now I want to read the book so I can watch the Hulu series. Mm -hmm. Love that cover. The covers, book, book covers have been eating lately. Yeah, this is a good spread. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that was literally the timer. 
We can do a short little pause. Yeah, we'll do a pause and then I'll show mine. Let's check on the cake. Oh, Lily, the cupcakes look insane. Oh my god. They look um, good. Why are those cupcakes so fat? They're definitely oh. gonna need more time. Oh my god. The cake is literally jiggling. Yeah, so she's a little bit jelly. She's raw, but. A little gelatinous. I got four books. At first, I was keeping my cool. I'm in this bookstore. I'm like, okay, I'm just looking, I'm browsing. And then when you have two books in your hand, it's always when you have two books, then all of a sudden you're like, wait, I could also get this book and this book and this book. And if I just have one book, I'm like, no, restraint. But as soon as I find that second book, it's like, it's like well, I'm already spending money. I might as well. Now we're getting, yeah, exactly. So the first one that I'll talk about is The Stone Sky, which is the third book in the final earth trilogy i'm currently reading the obelisk gate so i just went ahead and got this because mm. i'm finishing that in the next week at least and then i need to have this on hand and i would rather support local than buy from amazon if i can so so true if you like fantasy if you like sci-fi this is a great introductory into like sci-fi for fantasy mm. readers it's just written very well and it's just the plot is very well thought out and there are crazy things that happened in the first book that I could not see coming but Lily would probably get immediately but like me and Logan were talking about it and we were both like oh my god no I literally did not see that coming that was literally crazy and Lily's probably like oh duh but anyways moving on TBD TBD the next book that I got is The Bandit Queens by Parini Shroff I told myself I've been looking at this book ever since it came out in hardback and I told myself that as soon as it came out in paperback I would buy it and this is the first time I've seen it in paperback so, so bought it immediately sweet. bought it immediately there's this woman who lost her husband he just like left but then the rumor is that she killed him and the rumor won't go away and so then no one messes with her or deals with her because they're like scared of her because they think she murdered her husband and then people start turning to her for advice on how to deal with their husbands and she's like I literally didn't I did not actually kill him but then people are demanding it and so it starts to be it just says her dangerous reputation is becoming a double-edged sword Ooh, that kind of sounds cool yeah so like imagine like the whole town being that like you killed your husband and then all these women like, coming to you being like advice. being like I want to kill my husband I want to do this and she's like girl what so I'm just curious and also if it's anything steeped in Indian culture or the surrounding areas I'm gonna pick up and read like I'm gonna read it so and then these next two oh, the covers are beautiful well first there's this one yo that's just so pretty that's gorgeous this is the new animals by pip adam and it is set in the auckland fashion scene which i just do not get from this book from this book i'm like oh it's gonna be a poetry book no it says the new animals moves over the course of one night to the hopes misapprehensions resentments and regrets of a small group of fashion industry workers divided by generation and class and then it keeps going but i'm like Already, already I'm intrigued. Already yeah. I'm intrigued. And that was the timer. So I have exactly one minute to tell you guys about this book, which again, just another moment of appreciation for this cover. That's just like so sick. That is literally beautiful. Glaciers by Alexis M. Smith. Very tiny. This is what got me the little top part here, not even the full like blurb. It says her story could be told in other people's things. The postcards and the photographs, a garnet ring and a needlepoint of the homestead, the aprons hanging from her kitchen door, her soft faded dog-eared copy of Little House in the Big Woods, a closet full of dresses sewn before she was born. All these things tell a story, but is it hers? Mm -hmm. Like simply put, that would make me buy it too. Like, whoa. That's all the time we have, folks. All the time we have. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's check. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're looking a little Maybe cold. A little Why does this look more like buns than cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> what did we do wrong? Okay, she still needs more time over there. Who, the cake? Yeah. Okay. Is she jiggling again? Yeah. Olivia, I'm so sorry that Elizabeth oh God, is so that much one. better at baking than I am. <laughs> I'm really trying hard for you. Look at it from this angle. Look how, like, long it is. Like, why do these look like shoes? Who, which elf left their shoes in my cupcake tin? Oh my god. Perfect. Who let us... Who let us bake? For you? For me? Yeah, thank you. For who? <laughs> A thin crust. I feel like we should do... I could make one of them like a margarita moment. Mmm, a little margarita moment? Yeah. I feel like I should just get a large pepper because a bunch of people said they want that. What? No. See? No one took the No one ever would take it. For this long. What? We don't usually hang out in here. That's true. That's true. I know, I'm like, okay. We 
you don't really hang out here. Here. Elizabeth is working her magic. When in doubt, get Elizabeth. Here's the progress. She's beautiful. We've made these gluten-free cupcakes. Oh, here's the spread. And yeah, we're getting into it. Are you burping your baby? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's oh. Nice. Like what? Like feel, like as feel. In, as in you forget that they're. Yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mangoes. Without context, this is. So. This is so silly. We're just checking to make sure the shoulders are even and none of the shoulders. Tell my doctor maybe bend over and then she told me. Everyone, <laughs> shout out Claire's new necklace. Gorgeous. Okay, Apple. The Apple. You don't even know. Like the people at home, they don't know about the They don't know about his Apple. That's what I'm saying. There's not a single important picture of me that was not taken by Claire, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Did you have, like, ones yeah. and stuff? Yeah. She did my graphics for high school and college and also my album art and also, uh, like, literally everything. That's what I'm hearing is you're going to be doing another album art soon. Literally. And um, the collab is coming, guys. Like, it's going to be crazy. Ready. Maybe... Okay, four. We made a little bed. <laughs> like, I don't know how they did this. With Dog bean the bag, gave three them. pillows, the cushion of a chair. Okay, do you guys know what you want to watch? Or watch what we roll. So true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just snorted up your nose. Yeah,